This is going to be a detailed look at the Vostok case back as well as their bezels. You can see I removed this bezel here from my Vostok Komodersky K35 watch. Uh, the way these work is they are a friction bezel, which means they don't ratchet. They're bi-directional, so they rotate both directions. Uh, they're held in place by a small wire clip, which is like a spring that runs on the inside here. You can see it right there. Let me see if I can remove that out. There it is. As it flies away, it's right there. So that's uh, what holds on the bezel. And that spring there is inside a groove here on the inside of the bezel. And that interfaces with a groove right there on the case, just underneath the acrylic crystal. So that's what holds that on. You can remove them by prying it off and it'll pop off. You have to be careful not to damage this wire. This one actually I did kind of damage, but I'm gonna flatten it out so it fits better on there. Uh, you can adjust the tension by adjusting the spring by this angle on those bins. You can increase or decrease the tension. So that's how the, the bezel works on these Vostoks. The case back, which is the, the coolest uh, feature of these things in my opinion, uh, I show I, I talked about it in my last uh, Vostok amphibian video, but I wanted to show show how it actually works because I didn't really explain it very well. Uh, what you have you have this little locking ring here, which I already loosened, and I'm gonna go ahead and rotate that completely off. So you twist that off, and then once that's free, that comes off. That's the threaded piece that threads onto the case. Then you have your actual case back, which is press fitted in there. And you can see the two little lugs here, the top and bottom of the case. And that's what you use to pry the case back off. So let's see if I can get this. There it goes. You can see it lifted off. I'm going to flip it over carefully and it falls out. So now you can see the movement right there ticking away. This one, uh, is actually an automatic movement, but I removed the rotor because it was too it was just too loud, and I just hand winded it. Um, it's just too loud, and it added just added weight to the watch, so I removed that. I may put it back at some point, but I did remove the rotor. Uh, plus, it gives you a better view of the movement. And this is a 24-hour movement here, Vostok movement. I believe it's the 2432 is what they call it. Uh, there you can see the O-ring, which is a heavy-duty rubber seal. Uh, it's in really good shape, and the reason it's in such good shape, even though this is a new watch, the way these work is when you set the case back in there and press it down on there, the seal is never torqued, so there's no shear force applied to it. So you never have any torquing of that seal. It's just a straight downward press. And that creates such a strong, and it's just, it's just a strong seal. Very innovative that they did that. And I'm surprised that other watchmakers haven't picked up on this. I don't know if Vostok has a patent on it. I'm assuming it's the patent has run out by now because they've been doing this for decades. But what a great uh, feature. Uh, another thing that people talk about is the deeper you take this watch, the harder the water pressure presses down on that seal, so it actually gets more tight the deeper you go. They rate these things at 200 meter water resistance. I've seen videos where they've taken them up to 50 bar, which is way past 200 meters, and they still don't leak. I saw one fail at 70 bar, I believe it was. You can search for that on YouTube. Really cool video. I may actually uh, put a link of that in the description. Actually, I will. I'll put a link of that in the in the description. Uh, really cool to see these things survive that much pressure. I mean, that is an incredible depth. <laughs> it's deeper than I will ever go, and most of y'all too. But anyway, I just want to show you how these work. So that's the case back there. You can see it's just got a flat surface that presses on the seal, and then your locking ring drives down on that to prevent shear and torquing of that seal. What a great what a great design. I mean, they, they really came up with something cool here. 
Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments.